Hi, welcome back again to another beautiful day. It's another beautiful moment that I am here today to share with you strategies and the thing for you to be successful on Facebook, yeah? From the title alone, you guys can understand what I want to say today. There are two things that you need to do on Facebook, which is on your profile. Now, if you're interested in this kind of place, please sit back, watch, and subscribe because I'm going to give you a detail and the most important part of your profile that you should use your name as a legit name, the same name that you have in your document. Welcome back again, it's Rosa Kachi. If you're new, please share, like, subscribe. Tell us in the comment section your opinion. In this platform, we share strategies and make money online. So if you're interested, please, let's get started. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys the benefit of you using your real name, which is the name you have in your document. Most of the people, they will not tell you this. Why? Because it does not concern them. Your profile is your identity. When you create a profile and that profile you want to use it for your page, it means that you need to put your real name on your profile. Example, please take a look at this, what I'm doing here. When you use your real name, that name should be in your document. In case you've been locked out, Facebook will ask you for ID number. And if you don't have your ID number corresponding with your page name or page profile, it will be a very big issue. You will lose that profile. I know that many people have already experienced that kind of thing that Facebook lock you out and you don't have any access again to log in until you provide the real name. See, most of the people, they use fake name. Those names are the names that they are not identified on their certificate, on their real documents. But if you want to have a successful Facebook, you need to put your real name that is bare on your document. So, when you put your identifier proof, you will put your ID number. Then they will accept it. Anytime that your phone has been locked out or someone hacked your account, now, Facebook will ask those people to prove or to provide the identity number, which is the ID number. If they do not provide that ID number, then Facebook will not give them access. Facebook will deny them the access. So, what does that mean? It means that every Facebook owner should have their name corresponding to their username which is the name you have on your your passport let it be the same name you are using for your profile and you don't need to share that your profile with anyone because it's just your profile but is it important that as a facebook owner that you should do this if you find this video very interesting and is a very vital information that I am giving, you will see my name here, the same name I am bearing on my document. The reason I put that, because there is a place inside Facebook that you will need to upload your real document. And in case you are by you don't go, exit for life. You need to wheel your account to someone or you need to delete it after you have gone. Facebook will delete it for you. Now, you need to transfer the ownership to someone. So, it's a business platform. 
that you need to register with the real document. If you really want to make money on the social media with that your profile that is holding the page, then change that your nickname now and put the real name inside that your profile. In case if there is anything happen to you, there is someone you can wield your account and Facebook will not delete it permanently. So those are the information I said. Let me bring it to you. And I believe you are going to learn. Just go to your Facebook. Then edit. Example, this is my Facebook here. I am going to show you how are you going to do it. Go to your Facebook profile. On that your profile, you click three dots. When you click three dots, you will see edit. When you click edit, it will show you to edit your picture, put your real picture, and then it will edit the information. Go to edit the information. This place of edit information, edit everything which is needed and put the legal information which is right so by you doing so you will edit your name and you will put the real name that you support support on your page so do those things and you will never regret it i believe this video is helpful for the people who are looking for way how are they going to uh, put their real name on their Facebook or maybe you don't know you are just creating a Facebook profile with a, just a normal name but Facebook is locking people out Without you having identity proof Facebook will not allow you to have any account that has happened to me some years back and it was a great lesson to me so I said no you, as my audience, you don't need to go through that. I just want to tell you that you should put your real name on your profile and corresponding with your document. So in case if anything happens, you can be easily to upload that document and Facebook will release your account. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you watch the video till this moment, much love. We love you, but God love you the most. That's it for today. Thank you so much. Bye for now.